Will the owner of a restaurant in Northwest Omaha be charged with a crime for telling others about a sting that had minors trying to buy alcohol at his business? In depth tonight, Brian Mastery re-examines another high-profile case where the business owner was also ticketed, even though the minor walked out empty-handed. A month ago, the staff at Salt 88 checked IDs and denied two minors from buying a drink after they were seated at a table. It was a sting. The owner shared his frustration on Twitter, posting their photos from his security cameras and warning other businesses to be on the lookout. Days later, the Nebraska State Patrol ticketed him for obstruction, a misdemeanor, saying he was interfering with a government operation. Where the big deal comes from it is, is just the manner in which it was handled. I, I understand that this gentleman disagrees with how law enforcement does these compliance checks and and this is how he viewed his way of voicing his objection. While the restaurant owner was ticketed, the city prosecutor hasn't decided whether to file charges or drop the ticket. It's my livelihood. It reminded us of a case from 2002. This was a tobacco sting. Back then, the owner shared his security footage not on Twitter because it had not yet been created, but on TV. An underage girl tried to buy cigarettes from Big Dog Beverage in Elkhorn. The owner hollered at her and put his hand on her back as she left. They ended up tickling me for assault because I, I touched her. Showing her the door. Showing her, open the door and says, out. The state eventually dropped the assault charge. Even today, as Big Dog Beverage is in its 19th year of business, the owner still makes a stern point to minors who try to buy alcohol or tobacco. The police don't like that because they say I'm confrontational. but. All I want to do is keep the miners from coming back in here. Tell their friends that I'm not a nice guy. Larry Gregorich is also known to photocopy IDs of miners who try to buy alcohol. He then calls their parents. Big Dog sympathizes with those at Salt 88. He wonders if another business owner, instead of using social media, calls or texts others to warn them during the next sting. Will they be ticketed too? With photographer Jim Hinchick, I'm Brian Massey reporting, WWT6 News. Now, Project Extra Mile, the organization behind the sting, tells Brian posting information online about the compliance checks is not the issue. Posting pictures online of young people assisting law enforcement is the issue because it jeopardizes the safety of the young people. The owner of Salt 88 declined to comment pending the investigation. We'll know how the state plans to proceed by the time his court date comes up in October.